Hello, um, today I went to Untamed and rode Hollaby Wallen for the first time. Brilliant start. Anyway, it was my first MRC, RMC. Damn, it sounded like I was about to say I had an MRI scan for the first time. And the and bed does, does move. move. And it will move. And it will move. Into the camera. So, that was probably what it felt like when I rode Conzo. That ride is possibly better than Hero. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're f being an absolute piece of junk. <laughs> Look at this kid's face though. He is genuinely scared for his health and well-being. Maybe it's time to start the video now. So, welcome to a live reaction of me riding Untamed. Oh, what's that? Oh. Sorry, it's not a live reaction. Uh, Wallaby don't allow filming. The other reason is I just could not be arsed. So, firstly, the ride exits the station and begins into a wild outer bank turn. Boo! And this is just about as fast as it can move. Fake! I think it's time we start taking this seriously, so I'm sort of going to commentate over the ride and how it is, what each element is, and then I'll give you the top positives and the negatives at the end. So this is about 35 metres tall. For its kind, it's not the tallest of roller coasters, I'm not going to lie, but the, it seems really fast for its size because you can get much bigger coasters of this type. So I was on the back row when I rode this, so about this point in the video, who's starting to speed up and get whipped over the edge and yeah you get down here straight fast you get you're kind of out your seat at this point if you especially if you're in the back row uh, you get a little bit of air there but this element here you don't touch your seat all the way through until you reach the ground this is an airtime machine there's so many hills never fails to disappoint with what airtime is that hill is probably one of the best um, it's really smooth all the way through. It's incredible. It's my number one coaster so far. And yeah, it's amazing. Just all this airtime, airtime again, double up, double down. And I think it has five inversions in it, which I believe is the most for a hybrid coaster. And just look at the ups and downs that it has. And then you turn around and do a tight heartline roll. I think that's what it is and into the brake run and it's so fast and it keeps pretty low to the ground for at least the second half of it and what a ride that is. I think this is the best element, it's got two inversions inside it and like I said you don't touch the seat at all, all inversions are smooth so it's the perfect coaster apart from one thing. This may not apply to everybody but if you're tall and lanky like me you may be able to relate. My problem is the, what are they called, shin bars. I don't see the need to have them. Why couldn't they just stick with lap bars? The shin bars don't stop you from falling out because that's what the lap bar does. My shins do press against these a lot throughout the ride. And I think if I continued to ride it back to back, I would eventually get bruises on my shins. Anyway, Untamed is, well, it's on another level to anything I've ridden before. Uh, just the whole layout is outstanding. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Definitely one of the best roller coasters in Europe. Probably up there with the best roller coasters in the world. And have you ridden it? Do you want to ride it? Let me know in the comments. Goodbye.